Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse Walking Faith. Happy Monday. It's February 8th. The Great Gardener. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. And that's John. If you were to list all of your afflictions, burdens, and challenges, it might seem overwhelming. You know that the Father has allowed it all for a good reason. But you may be frustrated with yourself for not being able to accomplish more or muster the energy for the next step. Do not despair. The difficulties are not evidence of his displeasure, but of your wonderful potential he sees in you. Your savior, protector, and provider is also your great gardener, and he knows exactly how to help you flourish. He trims areas that drain your energy, remove decaying parts, and harvest their fruit so more may grow. It's all for good even if it's painful for a season. So how do you take your next step today by abiding in him and allowing his ability, energy, inspiration, and power to flow through you in every way and time? He is the vine, you are the branch. Let him do the sustaining. Lord, I trust you as my great gardener. Thank you for helping me grow. Help me to bear good fruit in you, amen. In his presence, abide. So it's similar to when we talk about doing inventory in your life, right? You need to cut things away. And I think especially during this season, which has been a lot longer than we thought, we've all in a sense have uh, did an inventory. There's a lot of things that we idol, that we worship, that we thought we needed in our life that was so important that we needed to cut out. Whether we wanted to or not, they were uh, sort of eliminated uh, from our lives. And as we continue to move into this season that doesn't seem to end, more and more things are being removed or being cut away or sort of uh, being eliminated because of personal inventory that we should all do on our life, especially as Lent approaches. Next week is Ash Wednesday. This is the time we need to give things up. So think about that, especially over the next few days. What are you willing to give up? It's, you know, some people give up chocolate, some people give up alcohol, some people give up other things. So Take the next couple days to think about it, reflect on that, reflect on what God is calling you to do. But what I would remind you to do is to build a daily relationship through a routine with Jesus Christ by reading the Bible, by praying, by meditating, by listening to podcasts. Do something, do your part, start to develop a strong foundation of faith in Jesus Christ. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire, evangelize, do words and actions. God bless you.